Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're reviewing another warpless account. If you don't know what this means, this account has spent zero warps on the game. They have never ever wished on a banner. They have saved up 49,000 jades, 207 of the regular star rail warps, and 107 of the premium warps. Boys, today we're looking at a super interesting account. If you're looking forward to this video, do make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like down below. But regardless, let's get in to today's account review. So I've been on an account like this before. If you don't know, my good friend ZMM has an account just like this. And comparatively to him, this account has a little less effort put into it. A quite marginal amount less jades. There's only about 50,000 on this one, but it's still a crap ton to save up. And to be honest, that's pretty much like almost a guaranteed E6 character. Maybe if you get lucky, we'd have to wait and see. But on an account like this, the thing I'm most interested to see is just to make sure it's actually completely free to play. So owner or coach, none of them bought. Supply pass hasn't been bought. And the battle pass has not been bought. Okay, good. So we can validify this is indeed completely free to play. The next thing we want to see is, of course, the character archive. That's always a really interesting thing to see, to see what character they've been able to get without spending any warps. So from what it looks like here, you, of course, have the free doctor ratio, which should be the only five star on this account. Besides, of course, the trailblazer. Other than that, there is no free five stars in the game, which is just unlucky. They're missing a couple four stars. They're missing Palo, which is a big, big, big one. I think another really unfortunate one is Luca. No Ting Yun, no Shu Shang. Ooh, there's a couple big misses here. As for their light cone data bank, it's interesting to see here as well. We, of course, have the three light cones that you get from the shop. For destruction light cones, they have the one five star. And then I think these two are both free. Hunt light cone, they only have three of them. Oh my gosh, you don't even have the other two three star light cones. Can't you get these from like chests, surely? In fact, they're missing three star light cones in every single path. That's crazy. Most of these you get from like events. Like, hey, over here is from the Gwenaifen camera event. Same thing with for tomorrow's journey. I believe this is also an event. So most of these you just can't get normally without wishing, which is really hard. So this account is going to probably struggle a lot. Now, what are our characters level looking like? Okay, so everybody's 70 and a couple 75s, only one level 80 or two level 80s in Gwenaifen and Zui Ye. Um, that doesn't make too much sense considering we are trail by 69. So we should have more characters at 80 by now. What are their traces looking like? Ooh, yeah, kind of rough on traces. So like 777, 767. Ooh, yeah, we're missing quite a lot here. An important one for me would definitely be Dr. Ratio. I feel like this is by far the most important character on the account. So getting this to 80 and getting his level to 80, I feel like makes a ton of sense. And that would probably be the first thing I would do for this account. It's just get this to 80 and get an achievement. Huge. What was that? Oh my gosh. Are we not? Oh no, man. Not again. Bro, just claim it. It doesn't go against the rules. I don't think. Oh my goodness gracious. They've never claimed anything. Okay. You at least claim like your travel log stuff. Trailblaze continuance. Oh my gosh. You Why is this here? Claim it. You claim the past three. Just not this one. Why? Clocky paycheck. You haven't claimed any of these. What's going on here? This account is giving so many people anxiety right now. Me as well. Messages? Oh my goodness, the backlog of messages. <laughs> How many messages do you have from Don Hang and Xing Chui? Bro, just respond. Missions. I assume this list is going to be long. Yeah. They do seem to be caught up, though, with the current Trailblaze mission, I think. We can actually just check the map to see that. Do they have the new one? They don't. So they haven't done the Fei Zhao one yet. I think they have done all of Penicone though. All the way up to the Radiant Feldspear. So they have got up all the way to here, which is great. How far are we into Divergent Universe? Are we far at all at this? Uh, no. Only Synchronization 9. We do complete it kind of on a weekly basis, though. So that's good. As long as you're getting max rewards and you're going in for planner ornaments, it should be fine. Although I have all these marked as new, which makes me think that you haven't done them before. I'm going to hope that's not the case. Relics look generally okay. Everything seems to be plus 15. Yeah, okay. Mostly plus 15. A couple plus 12 in there. 
but generally everything is plus 15 and like every character is built with a couple exceptions like you cogs missing an orb it seems like oh my goodness you have every single character on inner solo soto why this set isn't that good is it according to relic recommendations it's good for three of the characters on your account and that's it you also seem to be grinding a lot of Bellabog of the Architects, which is also interesting. Doesn't seem like it's actually used on anybody though, which is definitely a positive. Now, with that being said, after looking at your artifacts and seeing the somewhat interesting pieces we have there, I do want to look quickly at how far we've progressed in endgame modes. Okay, one star pure fiction, five stars in AP Shadow, and six stars in MOC. There's no way we're struggling in MOC, surely. We have healers, we have somewhat decent units, but we're not, we haven't even got up to seven yet. Interesting, what about the other two? This one we're stuck on five, and we have beat the whole Forgotten Hall. Okay, interesting. I feel like we can definitely get MOC three done, although it is Swarm True Sting, which does kind of suck, okay. But I think we could definitely do this. We have overall like really decent light cones on this account. Some things I would prioritize is like getting this to super imposition five because you do have that ability. I'm going to presume that Herta Space Station hasn't been bought out yet. And oh my gosh, there's a quest. No. Okay. We escaped the quest. Anyways, we should be buying some of the stuff from Herta store, right? Because we have five of these. We can even start saving up. I, our eternal calculus is great for both i think sir vault and ching Chui. this can work great on for both of them this should be high priority along with saving up to get some super imposers for sure also like high priority traces like we should definitely be getting every single bonus ability like this bonus ability for her to i would honestly get this in fact i'm gonna just click it for you because this i mean just get every bonus ability bonus abilities are like high priority for every single character in fact, it does look like you have most of them. It was just that one on Herda that seemed to be missing. But other than that, you do have most of the bonus abilities. Other than that, though, not too much to worry about with traces. There are a couple bonus abilities I'd like. And obviously, some of these should be just higher level because you just simply need higher level talents, to be honest. Ratio should be high priority. Herda should be high priority, especially for pure fiction. Links should be high priority as well as your dedicated healer. Same thing with Gallagher as another good healer that you can use. Something else that I want to check out quickly is Eidolons. Um, I can't imagine we have too many Eidolons, except for on Trailblazer should have only two. E6 Trailblazer is really good. The more you get for him, the better he gets straight up. Herda is only E5. I think she has potential to be E6 free to play, although I could be wrong about that. Uh, yeah, no, other than that, zero Eidolons on any character besides Herda and Trailblazer. In terms of like four pieces on these characters, like two piece speed two piece break on gallagher is fine four piece watchmaker i do like on trailblazer four piece eagle is an interesting set for the advanced action forward in fact i know my friend zeto loves to farm this set in particular because it helps them get more action in the turn order which seems to be really valuable for accounts like these where you can't beat content really fast because the characters are so weak. And so you just have to go as much as possible. Now, I want to see if you can beat some of this content. Like, do we have potential to go even farther? That's my big question here. Can we do Forgotten Hall, Pure Fiction, AP Shadow? I'm going to try Forgotten Hall first because I feel like this should be the easiest one. Level 73, which matches our current level. And I think we have some potential. We definitely go... Herda second half, Duye first half. I don't think Ching Chui's built, if I remember correctly, so we might not be able to use her, but we can use Lynx, who's a good healer. Doctor Ratio second half. Oh boy, this is so hard. Can we build a Ching Chui? You have a light cone. It's only level 60 though. Oh gosh. Let's change that. Let's enhance this a little bit. Auto add. We're gonna get this to 70. And then, oh gosh, we're missing bonus traces too. Oh, Ching Shui. Oh, and your traces are so low. This may be rough, but I think it's possible. If we can get over 134 speed, I do think there's some chance. So I am just going to enhance these boots. Boom, we get an HP, unfortunate. But now we have enough speed on our Ching Shui. We have 137. The ratio is terrible, where we're just going to have to live with it. And let's try this. We're going to add Ching Shui to the team. And we're going to go to Lynx, Ching Shui. Zuiye, second half ratio, Herda. I think we need some sort of healer. 
we could probably go March 7th. Although March 7th is a pretty bad sustain. So I think I want Gallagher instead. And then paired with Harmony Trailblazer. That could work. I think there's potential there. And then top half, we need one more unit. Which is kind of a toughie, to be honest. But I think we go March 7th. Or we go March 7th, bottom half. Super break top half. Let's try that. Some awkward teams, but I think it should be enough to beat this. I mean, I could do it on Nihility only. So I believe on an account with sustain. I think there's hope. If you have sustain, you can do anything. That's my belief. Let's go here. I have no idea how to play this character. Can I just get the thing? Oh, you suck. Okay. I think you just have to mash the cards, right? That's how she works. <laughs> I think so. Ooh, nice follow up. Ching Choi, go in. There we go. Oh, and we got the max stacks. And then we could do this. Nice. Army Trailblazer is absolutely clutch and, and doing damage. Because, yeah, we just did 30k. That's insane. And we killed a thing. Good stuff. Super Break, we need to get it up again. We're close. Oh, gosh, they're doing damage. Okay, Lynx, we're going to need to heal. Lynx, save us. Oh, gosh, Lynx heals nothing. What the heck? Why is her healing zero? Look at her healing. Uh, it's not great. We're going to need a lot more. We're going to need to do an Enhance miss it that's unfortunate we gotta get to follow up though that's good okay we got the ching shui burst do the thing majig get it up nice kill the mars truck nice we're doing really well actually and we're on turn 26 i don't think it's gonna get us the max stars but it's gonna be something we beat it in five turns that's pretty good we still have some chance i have a slight bit of faith in this side all right let's see what we can do here so we're gonna need to throw up a defense we probably want them to target gallagher because he has the most hp unfortunately this team oh, i don't know how much damage it's gonna do is the problem our best dps is definitely ratio but we also have some absolutely huge aoe's with herda and every side enemy's already dead my goodness that was fast we need to break this guy though i think we can freeze him right yes we can nice that was just about getting him down with ratio unfortunately herda won't do much when there's zero enemies in fact she does about nothing luckily ratio will pick up the slack by killing the enemy right nice the bugs here now and he has two freaking bars of health oh gosh his two bars of health is not helpful especially when we only have four more turns to kill the enemy oh my oh no i forgot they can multiply i need them to go for herda or march so I can get their stuff up. Please go for her up. Or March. That works. Oh my gosh. There's five of them. Can she freeze them here? No, she can't freeze. There we go. Herd is up though. And they're blowing up. They are blowing up. And we can break. 6%. Nice. We still have three turns left. There is a chance. I'm not too worried about dying. It's more just about the turns running out. Unfortunately, they are multiplying though. Which makes this a lot harder than it usually would be. Oh, we froze him though. Nice. Good freeze. March with the follow-up. And Gallagher with the fisticuffs. I think they're all going to explode now. Yep. We got every single one to explode. And we just passed turn 22. Turn 21, I think we got it. I think we have it in the bag here. Come on. 10%. Ratio, finish it off. Please. Yes. Nice. We did it. Turn 20. Just got it. Nice. And just like that, we beat them an MOC cycle. I'll take that. And now you can progress the rest of this. Those two teams going to secure you the victory every time. That's not necessarily true. You may have to mix it up a little bit. But I generally like those two teams. But overall, I'm actually, a, you know, I'm a big fan of this account. I love unique accounts like this. I think they're super fun. And if you like these kind of account showcases, let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of these. And if you want to submit your own account, my Discord is in the description below. And we have a channel where you can go and submit your own accounts for review. But regardless, boys, that's going to be the end of our video for today. Let me know if you enjoyed it, and I'm going to see you all in the next one. Peace.